G'day guys, welcome to uh, session number 31 of the Stay Home Spartans lockdown sessions. Um, lockdown's coming to an end, but these sessions are going on until I hear any, I hear different from, uh, from Gaz and the gang at the, at the head of the table. Uh, so what we're going to start off with today guys is something we've actually done before, okay? We're going to do this as part of the warm up, but also our, um, also our first drill, I suppose. So it's going to be um, eight minutes. But we're going to be working on nasal breathing, on nasal breathing. So the goal is for this entire first eight minutes that you're going to try and keep your mouth shut. I'm going to try and keep breathing through your nose the entire way through. You can go extreme if you really want and go for um, go for a, a, a strap, a, a duct tape across the across the mouth. I uh, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend that. So what we are going to come into um, is just going to be four different exercises, and you're just going to try and flow through them as often as you can. It's about managing effort, about managing um, your pace and trying to make sure that you can keep breathing through your nose the entire time. So the four exercises are going to be one press up, one slow mountain climber per side, one squat and one reverse lunge per side. So one circuit would just be one press up, one slow mountain climber on each side, onto your feet, one squat, one reverse lunge on each side. The whole way through, trying to breathe through your nose. Okay guys, so we're gonna get going with that in five, four, three, two, one, off we go. So that's gonna be eight minutes. So again, I'll do a side view as well for the, for the sake of the video. So there's going to be one rep of each, one press up, one slow mountain climber on each side, one squat, one reverse lunge on each side. Now, the goal is to keep moving. You can go as hard as you want. However, to keep breathing through your nose, to keep breathing through the nose, it's actually gonna be much more challenging the harder that you go. You've got to try and control your effort. You've got to try and control your pace. There we go. Um, so you've got to try and control your effort, control your pace as you go through it. And what you're going for, um, so Kristen, you are just joining us a little teeny tiny bit late. So what you're going for is going to be one press up, one mountain climber on each leg, one squat, one reverse lunge. But you're going to try and keep breathing through your nose. So it becomes one press up, one slow mountain climber on each side, one squat, one reverse lunge. And then start the circuit again. So you're straight back down into those press ups. The goal is again, like I was saying, is to try and keep your uh, keep your breathing through your nose. So you've got to manage your effort, you've got to control um, your pace. If you go out too hard, you go out too fast, it becomes much, much harder for you to keep breathing or keep breathing effectively. With this, the key actually doesn't come from breathing through the nose. It comes from breathing through your diaphragm. So what we're gonna do at the end of this eight minutes is actually work a little bit on belly breathing before we move into the rest of the circuit, but it's using your diaphragm effectively. So it's that in through the nose, out through the nose. And you should find as you breathe in, belly expands, as you breathe out, belly collapses back in. It shouldn't be your chest rising and falling, okay? It shouldn't be your chest rising and falling. Now again, you can work as hard as you want on this one, you can obviously pick up the pace, you can start to move faster, but of course the challenge from this one, the challenge really arises from that nasal breathing every time. So one press up, one slow mountain climber on each side, one squat, one reverse lunge on each side. So keep cycling through those guys, keep cycling through those. Dead easy, no super complicated exercises. I knew I forgot something, I haven't got myself a glass of water. So you've got three minutes in, you've got five minutes left to go. And again, like I said before, try and keep that, um, try and keep that uh, through the nose all the way through. Now at this stage, if you've been taking it 
nice and easy so far. So if you've been building up slowly into it, start ramping up the pace each minute that goes by. I'll try and give you a little bit of an update as we go. I'm seeing some interesting bastardizations of Warrior 1 and Warrior 2 going on in one of the videos. Yes, I am talking about you two. <laughs> it's a good thing. It's a good thing you guys on Zoom are on mute. For my benefit as well as your, as well as your benefit, I imagine. Because I'll tell you one thing. That whenever these lockdown sessions do eventually come to an end, I'll miss them. Partly because I enjoy the whole through the keyhole kind of thing of looking into everybody's houses, getting to see the, getting to see the decorations. You know, look through, uh, uh, like peeking, like peeking through the windows. Without the without the creepiness, of course. Good. So again, we are still cycling through. It's the same four exercises. Again, for anybody that's watching via YouTube, again, you're just trying to flow through them. Okay, the goal is to not stop try and keep moving so if I was just doing two rounds back to back would be just through breathing in and out through the nose I'm trying to keep that going the whole way through. You'll find, you can probably hear it a little bit in my voice, even just doing two rounds breathing through my nose, has elevated my heart rate a little bit. It means that it's harder and harder to maintain that kind of work effort. And you can probably tell that's gonna make things a bit more challenging. If you can manage to maintain a higher effort, this is the busiest class actually we've had in a while, which is good, which is really good actually. Five and a half minutes gone, two and a half minutes remaining. And then we change things up a little bit. So like I said, we're gonna practice some belly breathing, deep belly breathing, but then we are gonna take it into slightly, just a little bit, just a touch, slightly more intense second half to the session. So this is our warm up. This is our stability. So work on good quality movements. You don't get any prizes for doing any extra reps. Get a little bit of fitness benefits, breathing in through in and out through the nose on them. But it's good. This is Yeah, I've lost where I've put me second notes. Looking good, you've got 90 seconds remaining, 90 seconds remaining. Now at this stage, you are gonna get a lie down at the end of this round, okay? So the next bit is gonna be lying on, on your back. You will get a chance to recover. So if you um, have the ability at this stage, start up on that pace, maybe jump up off the floor, maybe drop down into that press up each time, but keep breathing through the nose as much as possible. So again, if you feel like you have to breathe through your mouth, just slow down, slow every exercise down. <laughs> now, if only I was on my own laptop, I would know how to take a screenshot of what's going on, of what's going on in one of these videos. God help it, God help any teachers. How did, how do teach, how do teachers do it? I'd go absolutely mental. These are grown, these are grown, these are grown men. I, I can barely handle it. Right. let's keep it going last 30 seconds last 30 seconds at the end of the 30 seconds grab yourselves a drink grab yourselves a drink and you're going to lie yourself down on your back knees bent feet flat on the floor we're just going to go into just two minutes of deep belly breathing deep belly breathing when you lie on the floor one hand on your belly one hand on your chest one hand on your belly one hand on your chest that comes up in 10 seconds time in 10 seconds time in. Nice, and now you can take another breath, a regular, a normal breath, normal breath. So, like I said, we're gonna practice some deep belly breathing. So lying yourself down onto your back, grab yourself a drink first. But what I want you to do is you're gonna lie yourself down, feet flat on the floor, so knees bent, lying back down onto the floor. 
What I want you to do, one hand on the chest, one hand on the belly. And what I want you to do is just focus for two minutes. Timer is gone. Trying to make the hand that is on your belly do most of the movement. So as you breathe in, belly expands. As you breathe out, your hand descends again. So it's that up and down with the hand that's on your belly. So most of the movement comes from the hand that is on your belly. Only a small amount of movement comes from the hand that's on your chest. So it shouldn't, it should not be your chest rising and falling. It should be in and out. As you breathe in, your diaphragm flattens out. It pushes the belly out. It is the most effective way to breathe. So when you do hear somebody telling you that to stand and breathe with your hands behind your head to get, the, to get your breath back, Believe it or not, it is wrong. It is not the most effective way. Psychologically, yes, maybe it, it, it maybe per, um, puts a, some form of psychological dent in the opposing team. Who knows? I've never been intimidated by seeing somebody do it, but who knows? Maybe it does. The most effective way, if you are gassed out, is actually to lie down. I suspect Grandad would not be pleased if you took a lie down on the field to get your breath back. One of the next most efficient ways to do it is hands on the knees. And just trying to keep back flat. So essentially, that position there. Try not to be in that position where you're completely rounded over, but supporting your weight, hands and knees, is probably the easiest way to get your breath back. Big deep breaths in, allows your diaphragm to, to expand fully to get big, big deep breaths in, to get big deep breaths in. Okay, Looking good guys. Okay, now what we have got on your feet, on your feet, on your feet. So what we have got guys is shifting ourselves up and down off the floor a lot. And it's up to you how you go about doing this. What we're going to look at is a little ladder, a little ladder. And all that's going to happen is every single time that you come into, into a set of burpees, now we did something similar, uh, I think last week, maybe the week before, um, where you're going to choose your target Okay, you're going to choose 5, 10 or 15 burpees. 5, 10 or 15 burpees. Um, and all you want to do is in between every single exercise, you are going to do that number of burpees. I'm going to choose 5 mainly because I'm presenting and I'm, uh, that's what I'm going to choose. But what we're going to start off with is 10 press-ups, then 5 burpees. 9 press-ups, 5 burpees. 8 press-ups, 5 burpees. And you're going to work your way down one by one by one for a total of 55 press-ups. Does that make sense, everybody? Give us a quick thumbs up if that makes sense. Cool, most people seem to get it. Let's get going, guys, in about 10 seconds, okay? So you've got about a little bit more time to rest. So we're starting off 10 press-ups. So you can unmute yourself there, guys, if you want. I'm not so good, not so good at the sign language. No, if you make it all the way down to one, I'll have another exercise, but I'll introduce that in a minute. So it's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 in terms of press-ups, but it's five burpees every time. That doesn't change. Or 10 or 15, whichever one you choose. So starting off, guys, 10 press-ups going in. Three, two, one, off we go. Let's go. So again, you're working your way down. 10 press-ups. Once you've done your 10 press-ups, you then straight into those five burpees. You're getting yourself up and down off the floor. You can do chest to floor if you want an extra challenge, or you can do straight arm. Doesn't matter which of the variations that you do. Um, I've chosen five, you might have chosen 10, you might have chosen 15. All it means that over the course of the work it is, it may mean that you don't get through everything that somebody else gets through. So what we're looking at doing, once you've worked your way all the way down to one press up, so you'll actually get, so you work away, there's no rest in this one. As soon as you have done your 10 press ups and your five burpees, your next round starts, it's nine press-ups, five burpees, then eight, then seven, then six, then five, then four, then three, then two, then one. You are working your way down as quickly as you can. When you make your way all the way down, you start immediately back at 10. And what we're gonna start off with in 10 is just going to be 10 squats. Okay, so it just becomes 10 squats and five burpees. We work our way down in ladders. We're gonna go for three ladders in total. Three ladders in total. 
This is good though. So again, all the way down to one. So for instance, if I get myself, I've done 55 press-ups, which should be 50 burpees then in total. It's good, so it is high rep. It's a bit of a challenge. And there are different ways to challenge yourself within that. You can go for absolute all out speed. We just get it done as quickly as possible. Or you can sacrifice some of the speed by going for more difficult variations on the press ups. So I know some of you guys are pretty strong on press ups, so maybe you want to try to challenge yourself, have your feet up on a step so your feet are higher than your, um, than your hands. That makes the press ups more challenging. That will obviously slow you down. Alternatively, you can just go to your knees on the press ups, which will actually help you with speed. And you're just working that a little bit harder. Not necessarily speed on the field, but in terms of speed going through the circuit. Now, once you've worked your way all the way down, like I say, to one press up and five burpees, so that's the end of the round. So one press up and five burpees will be the last round. What you're gonna go straight back up into, no rest or as little rest as possible, is 10 squats and five burpees again. That is, of course, if you've chosen. I think everybody has, from what I can see, I haven't been counting everybody, but I think everybody has chosen five burpees. We're gonna do three ladders on this one. So again, your last round, one press up, followed by five burpees, and then we immediately start the next round. We immediately start the next round. We're getting that heart rate up. We're gonna try and keep it elevated as much as possible. We're gonna force you to do an upper body move, then a full body, upper body move, full body, upper body move, full body, all the way through, then it becomes lower body move, full body. Like I said last week, there are those out there who will condemn burpees, but I think they are an extremely useful exercise, an extremely useful exercise. This is good. So again, you're working your way down. Like I say, last round, your final round should look like one press up, chest all the way to the floor, right the way back up, then straight away, one, two, three, four, five burpees, and then straight into your 10 squats to start your second round, to start your second round. Good, we have our first and second. We're gonna start in the second round, so you're doing the same thing. You're working your way down. 10 squats, then nine, then eight, then seven, then six, and so on, but with the requisite number of burpees in between each round. Like I say, there are three ladders. When you make it to the bottom of this one, we change things ever so slightly. The last one's gonna be all about speed. It's good. So again, 10 squats, nine squats, eight squats, working all the numbers all the way down. So it becomes 55 reps in total. One plus two plus three, all the way up to 10 is 55 reps. Looking good. Good. So again, this one, breathe in however you need to. But again, trying to think about that most efficient way. So breathing diaphragmatically. So using that diaphragm to try and get as much air in, as much carbon dioxide out, getting rid of those waste products, bringing in that oxygen, allowing you to perform better as best you can. Try and keep that consistency going. What you should feel with this one each time is that Heart rate is really, really, really pumping each time, guys. It's really pumping each time. So like I say, this last one, slightly different. When you reach the last letter, it is going to be a full um, one all about speed. The burpee, no matter what number you chose, whether it was five, 10 or 15, drops to just one with a little bit of variation. I'll show you that in a second. 
but you're going to do 10 high knees on each side. Then nine high knees on each side. So it's all about speed. So the 10 high knees on each side would be Making sure those knees come right up high, above waist height, so belly button height is what we're looking for. As soon as you've done that, your burpee is going to be full stretch, off the floor, tuck back in and then jump up. So you're going to come right down, so just backing off for another rep for the guys on the YouTube video. It's actually all the way to the floor, hands off the floor and back up onto your feet and then you're straight back into those high knees. Looking good. So again, burpees and squats is ladder number two. But then it's high knees, single burpee. High knees, single burpee every time in the final round. So like I say, no matter where you are at, your final round is just one burpee with that full stretch out, hands off the floor each time. But you gotta get there. Now, looks to be effort level remaining pretty high. Speed has definitely slowed down a little bit across the board. This is good. Good, so keep pushing. Again, for the burpees, just make them mechanical. Hands down, feet out, feet in, jump up. Hands down, feet out, feet in, jump up. So we're working into those. We've got, again, once we finish this block, now I'm gonna let this one finish. I've got a time in mind, I think. The way it's looking at the moment, I think about half the group will be finished within that time. For the benefit of the guys on YouTube, perhaps you've chosen a harder variation, perhaps you've chosen 15 burpees for each one. If that's the case, it is obviously gonna take you a little bit longer to complete the circuit. In that case, just hit pause on the video just for a few minutes whenever I finish this and you guys continue that. But um, for the purposes of Zoom, we're gonna keep that going. So remember the final block, so you've done um, press-ups, 10 all the way down to one. You've done squats, 10 all the way down to one. And then your last one is high knees, so 10 on each side. So high knees, that 10 on each side. Once you've done those high knees, it is a single burpee every time where you drop down chest onto the floor, stretch the hands out so they're off the floor, tuck back in and go. So it's full Superman when you're on the floor and then back up. This is good. So the final round, the final block is just high knees, one burpee. High knees, one burpee every time. Good. Excellent work guys, excellent work. Good. So just for, again, for the get benefit of the guys on YouTube, I've got quite a busy Zoom class tonight, so I'm just keeping an eye on those as they go. Most of them are still in the squats and burpees. Lots of shaking of the legs going, which is, to be fair, understandable. Good, we have our first starter on the high knees. So 10 high knees on each side. Excellent, absolutely going for it. Then it is one burpee, chest right onto the floor. Stretch the hands out so they're off the floor. One rep, back up onto your feet. Shouldn't be on the floor for too long. Back up onto your feet and then straight into the second round of high knees. So there's only ever one burpee on the final block. This is good though. Really good, so we keep going. We've got a little core section again after this once this one is finished. Like I say, I have an idea of time in mind. So you've got around about two minutes and 20 left. If you finish before that point, you get a little bit of rest. If you don't finish by that point, we finish. No matter, we finish in terms of in terms of the Zoom class, guys. On on YouTube, like I said, um, if you want to continue to the end, just hit pause on the video and and uh, finish off this little bit to whatever music you want, and then hit play once you've done. This is looking good. 
Again, really drive those knees up. Make sure that same aggression is in the first round all the way through. And you're starting to look like you're regretting those birthday runs. Oh, I was going to say everybody's frozen, but then I assume that is me that's frozen. Uh, so we're going to continue that. Like I say, we've got about another minute altogether. Hopefully these guys will come back in. I think possibly it may be, I don't know, it may be my internet connection. If it is, I'll get back on as soon as possible. If not, we'll finish the end of the video and I'll post up on the on the group what the what the workout is. There we go, don't know what has happened there. There we go, we're back. We are back. I don't know whether you guys noticed me even missing. And look at that, Stanton still. What's that about? Go. That's better. There we go. Okay, guys, we're back. We're back. So, keep moving all the way to the end. You've got about another 20 seconds. If you are finished, rest. If you are finished, rest. We've had most people. Good. Just about finished. If not, take it to the end. Take it to the end. Last couple just to go, everybody's moved positions. And time, rest there guys. So whether you're finished or not, whether you're finished or not, fin rest there. That is nice work, nice work. Now again, I wanna use that diaphragmatic breathing. All I'm gonna get you guys through is lie yourselves down on your back again, feet flat on the floor. And all we're gonna do is just spend two minutes that deep belly breathing, really focusing on recovery. You can practice that again where you have one hand on your belly, one hand on your chest. Where we go for that deep belly breathing again. Just going to go for just a minute or two there. Just while we recover. Don't know whether you guys could hear that Walter whining in the back. Just at the patio door is trying to get, trying to get in, he wants to play. I might let him in towards the end. Again, just one minute. We're going to come into a little bit less intensity in terms of cardio, a little bit more intense in terms of core to finish off, okay? So what we're going to look at is um, some rainbow planks and a static mountain climber, okay? So a rainbow plank and a static mountain climber. We're going to do three uh, um, rounds all together. 30 seconds per exercise, that's that's it to finish off, guys. That's it to finish off. So, what I want you guys to do, if you bring yourselves into a plank position, a rainbow plank is where you're gonna try and get right hip to touch the floor, then left hip to touch the floor. So, what's gonna happen? You're gonna be in a plank position, and all I want you to do is just right hip hit the floor, rainbow the hips across, and touch. So you'll just pivot from side to side on the feet, create that rainbow arc for 30 seconds. At the end of that 30 seconds, we're gonna go into a static mountain climber. And all that is, I'll show you from the side, you're gonna try and get your knee to touch your elbow and hold it there. So all you're going to do, press up position, bring that knee into the elbow. Notice my foot is not touching the floor. I'm gonna hold that position for 30 seconds. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side for 30 seconds. So, rainbow plank going in three, two, one, off we go into that rainbow plank. So again, right hip, try and create that arc, that rainbow arc, right hip touches, taps the floor, left hip taps the floor. Try and keep both your forearms grounded, so you're getting that little bit of rotation, so you shouldn't twist to one side and then one hip hits the floor. And then you shouldn't switch to the other side and then the hip hitting the floor as well. So it should just be that alternating between the two. It's only 30 seconds. We're going to go into that static mountain climber. So drive the knee in to touch the elbow from that press up position. Ready and change. Let's go. So knee as close to your elbow as you can get it, if not actually touching. And if you really struggle, think about moving your shoulders forward, moving your shoulders forward in front of your wrists. It allows you to get that little bit closer. Should feel like quite an intense core exercise. Should feel like a really tight squeeze. That's good. So again, for the guys on YouTube. Okay, we're gonna switch sides in three, 
to one switch side, so same thing on the other side. So the guys on YouTube, sometimes you'll get to there. To get your knee even closer, you've got to shift your shoulders forward and try and create that, that position. If you really struggle with the wrists, so again, I'll just show you guys, I've turned that zoom video. We're gonna go back to those rainbow planks in five, four, three, two, one. Round number two of the rainbow plank. So hips right and left, right and left. Off we go. So we're back into that plank position. But for that, um, for that again, if you can get your knee to there, shift your shoulders forward, lift your hips, and drive in. So it should be a really quite a tight contraction in around the core. Probably feel it right in underneath the ribs. So again, that right and left, right and left. We're going to change into that static plank or static mountain climber rather in three two one let's go for it so again just stepping in knee as close to the elbow as you can get it and then try and get your shoulders forward lift your hips even higher if you can get your knee onto your tricep that's ideal you can even rest your knee on your tricep if you can get it there i'm not actually joking if you can get it in against it it will feel like a bit of a rest this is good last five four, three, two, and switch sides. So we're doing the same thing on the opposite side. So again, that squeeze in. I shouldn't laugh, but for the guys that, for the guys that are using, using their, their t-shirts to dry their faces, my five-month-old son does the same thing, pulls it right up and just rubs his face and puts it back down again. Hey guys, off we go. We're back into that rainbow plank for the third and final time. Off we go. So right hip to the floor, left hip to the floor. Make sure your forearms stay grounded. Don't just lift up on one side and then lift up on the other. Make sure they stay down so you get that rotation through the core as you do that right hip and left hip down. That's good. So pivot from the toes onto the side of the feet if that makes it easier. Make it, that's good. Nice twist on each one. That's looking pretty good across the board. Some of the camera angles I can't quite see. We're back into that static mountain climber in two, one, and change. Let's go. So static mountain climber, final time. Knee in. So again, lifting, knee off the floor, shift your body weight forward, and knee in against the elbow. Against the tricep. Hold it for 30 full seconds. Keeping that brace as much as you can. Try and lift the hips. You guys, you're almost there. Try and lift your hips in that position. Try and drive that knee in a little bit closer if you can. If you can make that contact, it will get easier. We're going to swap sides last time in two, one, and switch sides. Switch sides. Final time. This is the last exercise. It's the last thing of the circuit. This is all we've got to do. So while you guys are doing that, got 15 seconds remaining. That goes for Zoom and for you guys on YouTube. Um, so for the guys on YouTube, as always, if you've got any feedback, let me know on um, Facebook or Instagram at Neil Gallagher Training. Uh, alternatively, let your coaches know, let your captains know, they can get the message to me and I can try and include it in future sessions. Um, really, really well done. I will see you guys on Monday for our next session or her live and in person with the guys on Zoom. Time, guys. But for the guys on Zoom, um, I will see you on Wednesday because I know you, most of you guys will be playing Touch at this time next week. Signing off.